Smokey. You've seen him probably in past videos. So we're in Santa Monica. I'll meet Chelsea. We literally grew up three houses down the street. This is Mohammed. Um, he rode the school bus with us. <laughs> and Moki grew up in Maryland. So it's just a bunch of DMV people. And it's a random day. We went to the beach. It was a great time. Yeah, Want to try the center? No, I'll get a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so that was a very random, quick little vlog. Ended up going to the beach and then meeting up with a homie that I know that lives out here, that works here, and then some friends that I grew up with literally in high school. What the heck is the parking machine? Okay, I found it. All right guys, I stole Beverly. <laughs> We're at Zara in downtown. One of my favorite locations. I wanna look for some cute stuff to wear for this weekend. I'm already finding like fall everything. Like look at this bag. trying to mind my business yet yeah, you gotta sit right in the middle of mine shout out to l'oreal for this package you guys i was not expecting this from them because you guys know i haven't been getting my mail recently but they sent over some end of summer essentials and one of the items being their voluminous lash paradise mascara love drugstore mascaras they work so well and they also <laughs> sent over this custom denim jacket Leroy, you just don't want me to be great today. Oh man, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna make a new video or if I'm gonna put this in the last vlog. Guys, I literally just woke up. And this is what I look like when I wake up in the morning. So, I don't know, in the last vlog, I took you guys to downtown. I went to Zara with Beverly, so I ended up picking up a few things while I was there. I didn't really try on some of this stuff. I was really in there to look for denim. I'm on a hunt for the perfect pair of like straight leg, not wide leg and not skinny fit, like straight leg denim jeans that are like a mom high-waisted fit. Unfortunately, I think my legs are too long because they just look like high waters on me. So I have to find the right length, but I didn't have any luck with that. So instead I got sidetracked with a lot of tops, which I feel like my wardrobe lacks tops. I'm such a t-shirt person, sweatshirt, hoodies, I'm always in my doll merch. So I needed something that was not workout clothes, not loungewear, although I live for loungewear, hello, me right now, but I also just need like cute stuff. So I got this little turtleneck, like a mock neck in this neon pink. It was such a good deal. Got it in a medium, $29. Didn't try it on because I had makeup on um, and I didn't want to get makeup on the shirt, but it's very stretchy. It's like a ribbed knit. It also came in a neon green, which was so cute. So I definitely wanted to add some more neon and transition it into my fall wardrobe because I was all about it over summertime. And then I also got this little puffer. It's like a cropped puffer jacket. A fun little print. For fall time, I really like the colors of it. And it's really lightweight, so if you're traveling somewhere, you can literally just ball it up. Put it in your little carry-on on the airplane or whatever it is that you're gonna be doing. Travel with it very easily. And I mean, it's not the warmest thing, but for a California fall, I think this will be perfect. And this was, $39.90, got it in a medium. And I feel like I'm just so obsessed with Zara's style. I would say Zara and Misguided are probably my go-to places for fashion items because they just get my taste. And then this top, oh my gosh, this top was so cute. I could not pass it up. It has little puffed sleeves on it and it's very squared off in the back. 
but it has a nice little v-cut in the front while me describing it <laughs> this was so cute this with the perfect pair of mom jeans honestly would be so cute even like a high-waisted vinyl skirt like you could dress this up it's so perfect you guys so i got this in a medium as well and it was 39.90 and it also came with matching trousers not came with but you could get matching trousers or i believe a squirt or something so i love that it has a little quarter cut sleeve so definitely check out zara man they have some really cute things out right now but what i'm gonna do is i'm going to get my butt in the shower i'm gonna make some lemon water and i'm gonna run over to a subscriber's house here in probably about 30 minutes because we're gonna get these nails done yes i peeled off my last set a few days ago probably like two days ago and that was my birthday set that she did for me guys her nails last a month like legit it's been a month when i go in today since my last appointment so i'm gonna leave her information down below so sad though i just tried this on because i just told you i didn't try it on in the store because it had makeup and stuff on this fits a little weird it's too big underneath the arm so i'm going to return this probably later on today because it does not fit me oh, i don't know trying on clothes in the store is annoying but it's I don't know, maybe I'd rather just try them on at home and then if they don't work out, take them back later. I know people hate that, that work in retail, I'm sure. Um, but I'm obsessed with this little leopard top. I cannot wait to wear it. I also just got a PR package from Maybelline. So let's see what they sent out. We've got the New York Fashion Week Survival Kit. Ooh, lots of goodies in here. Little shadow pots, like bases. I've actually never tried these before, so I'm definitely going to give these a go. I like using these underneath my eyeshadow to bring out the color pigmentation. Full coverage under eye concealers. I love concealers. Honestly, concealer like foundation and face makeup is probably my favorite thing. So if you guys have ever tried these out, let me know what you guys think about them. Going down. That is a habit I never had. we did we did a pink and ooh, we did a pink a prettiest pink using valentino yes. and vanessa nails pink ombre capped it in clear so the ombre wouldn't fade and the pink up top is slightly glow in the dark yes so i'm excited to see what that's gonna look like i know right and uh, we went with a stiletto again this time. <laughs> I think I'm addicted. She turned me into a long nail girl and I didn't think I was ready for this life, but See? I think I'm obsessed, you guys. So I'm gonna leave her info in the description box if you guys are in LA. And I always do the DMV because I feel like you travel back and forth. Yeah, so. definitely. Yeah, so check Thank it out, you. links below. Are these not amazing, guys? It's pink ombre. She slayed it, she killed it, I'm obsessed with it. I had to stop and get a coffee, guys. It's, a, I don't know, three o'clock? I don't know how I made it this far in my day without caffeine. Are you gonna edit with mommy? Guys, look at his curls, that's the poodle coming through.